Now, let's introduce the different types of rays. First one is the gamma ray. Gamma rays themselves are very real. So for gamma rays, the wavelength is very short. It's the shortest of all the wavelengths. And because the wavelength is very short, you can see it's very high and the energy of gamma rays is very high. Sources, they are from cosmic rays, which means rays from the sun, radioactive substances, and nuclear reactions. Characteristics, they are penetrating. Because they are penetrating because they have high frequency and also high energy. And therefore, they can actually enter um, and cause damage to living tissues and organisms. They can penetrate through the walls of their skin and cells. And when they go into them, they can uh, alter or change the DNA in your cells. And that's what increases your chance of cancer. Some uses is, of course, medical treatment. For example, gamma, ray gamma rays can be used to kill cancer cells. It's quite interesting because gamma rays can cause damage and cancer in cells, but can also be used to kill cancer cells. So they can produce cancer cells and also kill cancer cells. They can also be used to sterilize equipment. When you detect gamma rays, you use a Geiger-Muller counter or photographic film. Now, the next one, a lot of you should have heard of this, it's just an X-ray. Um, quite a lot of you probably have gone for an X-ray before, usually for the suspicion of broken bones. So you can see over here an X-ray photograph of a hand. Um, an X-ray is used to look at bones quite closely because bones actually um, can block X-rays the best, but flesh does not block it very well. Therefore, we can actually see quite a clear view of bones. The wavelengths of X-rays range from 10 to the power of minus 13 to 10 to, 10 to the power of minus 8 meters. This is slightly longer than the gamma rays. The source of it is, is X-ray tubes. Characteristics, it is penetrating and it can cause damage to organic tissue. You can see that X-rays, they also have a very small wavelength and therefore have a very high frequency and therefore also still quite a lot of energy. Even though these so X-rays have slightly lower frequency and slightly lower energy than gamma rays, but they still can penetrate and cause damage to tissue. The uses of the X-ray are for medical diagnostic tools. It's the X-ray that you see in the hospital. Please don't write in your examinations, the X-ray is used to X-ray. It doesn't make sense to the examiner. Please write down medical diagnostic tools. Also, you could also write X-ray scanners for airport security. To detect the X-ray, you can use photographic films and also fluorescent screens. UV or ultraviolet radiation. You may have heard of skin cancer and therefore overexposure to sunlight and therefore UV radiation can cause skin cancer. Okay, because you can see here that the wavelength is 10 to the power of 8 to 10 to the power of minus 7 meters, which is still quite short. If it's still quite a short wavelength, it means it still has quite a high frequency and a moderately high energy. Okay, therefore, if it has um, quite a high energy, it still can penetrate your skin a little bit, and therefore, what it causes is mainly skin cancer because um, that's the most it can penetrate. So, the source is the sun or mercury vapor or lamps. Characteristics, it can stimulate our bodies to produce vitamin D. Therefore, um, you shouldn't really avoid sunlight all the time. Sunlight is the best stimulant for our bodies to produce quite an essential vitamin called vitamin D. Uses of UV radiation is for sunbeds, I like to sleep in sunbeds, for use fluorescent lights to produce artificial tanning on their bodies so that they don't need to go into the sun. Next are fluorescent tubes. And the last one is sterilization. You can use this out you can use this UV light to sterilize stuff as well. And the detectors are photographic film and fluorescent screens. Now this one should be common sense to most people. The fourth one that we have is called visible light. Over here is the laser light show from the Marina Bay Sands in Singapore. As long as there is light that you can see, including lasers, that all uses of visible 
light. The wavelength of visible light is a very very small window actually from 4 times 10 to the power of minus 7 to 7 times 10 to the power of minus 7 meters. Lots of light, visible light, will be hot bodies, lasers, and the sun. Characteristics, it can be seen by human eyes. Common sense, I guess. Users, lasers, and also visible light is commonly used for photosynthesis, which is the basis of how plants survive without eating. Detectors are our eyes, photographic film, and photocells.